Hello everyone, welcome back to Lapelska Delina for episode 21 in the adventures of Feldcorp. Oh, what a fantastic show. Always funny, that. Let me turn the TV off quick. Uh, hello, everyone. Let's see. It is now 9.30 on the third day of midwinter. And uh, as you no doubt saw, we've been uh, selling the wood off from our um, sort of project area down uh, down near the houses and the, the sort of foresty thing over there. Uh, we've got that cleared out now as best as we can. Um, Obviously, it's still covered in snow, so there's not much we can do. Uh, we've got a few jobs on today, though. Uh, one of them is going to be to clear out uh, some of the snow from around the farm. Uh, we've got um, a lot of snow in here getting in the chickens' way, so we're going to scoop that up here in a second, hopefully, or possibly even sweep it away with the uh, amazing magic broom. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, another interesting little tool that we picked up uh, on the way back was this thing. It's a uh, bag packing machine. Uh, what we can do with it is uh, we put um, various sort of bulk crops in the top here. It's got like a capacity of um, 800, I think it is. Uh, and then uh, it pops out little uh, bags of food or grain or whatever it is. Now, um, I figured it would be actually quite useful for the chickens because they never seem to take too much food. So what I'm going to do is uh, clear out a bit of the snow here and then get some uh, wheat out of the um, uh, little silo barn thing here, pop it in there and make some bags of uh, essentially chicken food. And just uh, plop it down here in the corner so every morning we can just come by, grab a bag, tip it into the thing and uh, we'll be good. So let's uh, get on with this quick. And uh, yeah, we've got, uh, got a few little projects on today. Um, besides this now, uh, we're also going to be installing, uh, as part of the Going Green initiative that we're undertaking sort of um, early next year and, and now, uh, we are going to be installing some um, wind turbines to help generate a little bit of power on the uh, on the farm here. And we are also going to get... Um, uh, what are the other things? Uh, some solar panels, uh, but we'll probably get them in the early spring once things have uh, cleared out a little bit and we can see what's going on a bit more. Uh, oh cracky, we've filled up with snow already. Yeah, that's a lot of snow in here. I had not expected it to be quite that much, quite that quick. <laughs> uh, let's just pop it over here. Yeah, that's going to make a bit of a mess, I think. We may have to get the broom and just dissolve it. So there's a lot of snow for that tiny spot that I just cleared. Well, maybe we won't move all the snow out of the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it certainly has snowed quite a bit here, hasn't it? I guess I shouldn't really be surprised. It's, uh, it is winter, after all. But, uh, yeah, let's get some more of this out of the way of the barn entrance at least. Uh, and obviously this will melt off as uh, um, seasons change and it starts to warm up a little bit. Uh, I think we are going to just need to get a little bit out of the way for the bag uh, bag maker to work properly as well. So that's good. But um, yeah, besides the wind turbines, uh, we are also going to be uh, popping down to the uh, BGA in a little bit as well. Because I had forgotten that we actually have a bunch of si silage down there. We've got uh, quite a number of bales and a silo full that uh, I had completely forgotten about. So what we are going to do is run down there and pop that in the uh, uh, BGA digesters and everything. And then uh, get it all on the go. And then that will be a little bit of extra income come the, uh, the evening as well. Which will be lovely. So we shall 
uh, get a little bit more money. Now we're kind of holding off paying uh, the bank off at the moment too, and we'll probably give them uh, a tiny bit more here before the day's out. Because I know we've sort of been talking about that the last few uh, few times here, but um, yeah, we're sort of holding off, sort of repaying too much right this second because um, you know, we're sort of planning for the beginning of the year once we start getting everything set up we're looking at uh, maybe sort of seeing what sort of uh, arrangements we can come to with them so they don't uh, come out and hit us with a uh, uh, some sort of giant um, you know, ultimatum thing again like they did this year a little bit yeah, that way we can sort of nip it in the bud but we'll go at them with like a project plan or a um, business plan of uh, what we're doing so you know we'll um, tell them all about what we're doing here with the uh, the pigs and the, the going green and our um, other little sort of community area that we've been uh, working on too you know we'll get that uh, fixed up a little bit more come um, come the spring as well and uh, with any luck that will sort of stave off their um, advances so to speak because yeah, there's still still going to be equipment and stuff we need to pick up here and there, and uh, obviously with the new year coming, that means harvests are coming up too. So um, we'll have our sort of one field to harvest, and uh, also uh, we'll be able to start replanting everything, and we'll have uh, a planting schedule on the go, and sort of other things that we can ply them with as well, information-wise. So yeah, so we'll be uh, be able to say, you know, look, we're growing this and. We're doing these things, and we got this stuff coming in, and all these sort of income arrangements and things that we're working on. So, with any luck, uh, they should be happy with all that, and uh, hopefully cut us a little bit of slack and uh, see what we can do. Because obviously, you know, the equipment we've got around here is still, you know, it's good stuff, but it is a little on the older side. So. Obviously, we're going to have to keep up with repairs and things, and uh, see what we can do there. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping they'll be reasonable about everything as well. Uh, yeah, we might be able to uh, throw uh, you know, sort of 10, 15 grand at at the uh, at the loan as well, just to you know, sort of make it uh, look like we're trying to do a little something at least. <laughs> And uh, we have picked up um, a few more fertilising contracts as well. Uh, I think the uh, few farmers' fields have thawed out a little bit, and the, the snow's eased up down in uh, 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 yeah, the southern portion of the map. If I could get my words out properly, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we picked up um, just a few of those that will most likely do uh, off camera, but they are they are there, and they shall get done a little bit later on. Did I not even have a full bucket when I did that? That would be annoying. <laughs> but, uh, yep, so I shall carry on and just clean out a little bit more of the old chicken pen here, just to make it look a bit more presentable. And uh, see you back in just a second. Okay, here we go. We got uh, a fair bit cleared out here, piled up off to the side, and uh, we've moved the um, little bag maker thing out there. So let's give it a quick fill up with some wheat and see what it does. If I can, oh, I've got one percent of snow in here. Get away, snow. Okay, let's get some wheat. Yeah. Let's fill it up, and what it should do, if I can avoid tipping it on the floor, yeah, there we go, you can see it filling up in the hopper there, and I'm going to just leave that at a tipping angle, and then we have to get into this like it's a vehicle, not, not that one, this one, okay, there we go, and turn it on, should start making a bag if I've turned it on correctly. I have. So why is it not making a bag? Well, wrong vehicle. 
should be making a bag now. Let's see, why are you not working? You did this to me earlier. It worked perfectly and then stopped working. Hmm. That's definitely on. There's nothing else we can do to it. Give it a kick. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, well, we had to move it outside of the uh, uh, the chicken pen area for some reason, but then it decided to start working, so that's that's good. <laughs> and uh, let's grab this bag from down here, move that out of the way, and another one pops up. And you see this is 200 litres of wheat. It says there, just in the top left. And we should get... Two full, well, we get quite a few full bags out of this. Except, oh no, this one's. That's weird, it didn't finish it. Ah, there we go, maybe it just didn't uh, close it off properly. Or it didn't spawn it properly. But yeah, so now we've got some 200 litre bags of wheat, and the chickens, I believe are currently low on food. Oh, they've only got 80 litres of wheat left. Now, I could just go and chunk a um, shovel load in there, but... what was this one? That one's basically full. Let's go and toss this one in there. So, uh, yeah, we just run over to the chicken pen, empty it in, and there we go. That's great, and now they've got uh, 280 litres of wheat or barley. So, yeah, that is actually really clever. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these, I'll run it over here. I'm not sure why it wouldn't work in here, though. I mean, there's no... unless it's because it's uh, to do with the buildings, possibly. Something like that, I would guess. But, um, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it could still be something to do with the snow on the ground as well, you never know. But if I could avoid getting that stuck on the door, that'd be handy. Uh, yeah, so um, we just have to do that out here for a minute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll create uh, a few more of these bags. Uh, we'll probably throw some in the uh, chicken coop as well. But um, yeah, so that'll be really handy. We can just grab one of them, pop it over there into the thing, and be uh, all well on our way. Okay, so let's get some more wheat in this while we're here. And continue doing those. And then, uh, yeah, then I think we'll get the, um, what are those things called, the, the wind turbines installed. Because we did also um, clear out a little bit of air, the uh, ground, the snow out there, so we can get those installed. So, uh, so yeah, it's out of wheat, I think. There we go. tip it further, it goes a bit quicker. Lovely. Well, let me see if it'll... I mean, it could even be proximity to the tractor or something, I guess. Let's see... Save all... Oh, now it's not working again. How peculiar. Well, let's get into the tractor and see if that... Uh, having that out of the way helps. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue doing this, and I uh, shall see you all again once we are finished, and uh, get all this thing figured out. Oh, there we go. Uh, maybe it's because of the proximity of the tractor, or the uh, the bucket. So, yeah, let's run over here with these. Yeah, lovely. this one into the gate. That's always helpful. <laughs> there we go. And that puts the chickens up to just under halfway. So yeah, we'll need a little bit more in there. But, overall, I actually kind of like this thing. It's uh, an interesting little mod. Should serve us well for the chicken feed. And I'm going to bet this thing's out of... Yeah, it's out again. That's okay. 
I'll pop this one in because it was showing a bit like one under 200. There we go. Lovely. Okay, we shall catch up again shortly. Okay, there we go. Just close up the barn now. Or the granary, whatever it is. <laughs> but yeah, we've got uh, uh, quite a few bags of wheat down there now. And uh, I think there's a slightly used one sitting over here next to this. So that's cool. That can uh, just sit there and happily empty into the chicken feed. And now uh, let's close that up. Uh, what we are going to do is pop some uh, windmills up on the, uh, or wind turbines rather, up on the hill next to our field there. So let me just find the one we're getting. We are going to buy a few of these helical wind turbines, which are uh, an interesting and neat little mod. Uh, and obviously it's going to generate us some income because we're uh, sort of powering ourselves now rather than... Uh, powering the, uh, or using the city power, or it may tie into their system as well, so pop one there, and one here, and one here, and one here, and I think actually we'll pop another one here. So we've just spent quite a bit of money on some wind turbines there, and of course at the moment it's not very windy, so let's have a quick run up there and see what they look like. Should be quite nice. Yeah, of course now there's no wind. Like for the last three or four days it's been stupidly windy over here. But uh, of course right now it's not. But yeah, they look pretty cool. So hopefully they'll uh, kick off once we get a bit of wind. Uh, yeah, lovely. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is head on down to the biogas plant and get uh, those bales and all that silage and stuff taken care of. Now, uh, at the moment, it's just going to be me, because the uh, rest of the family are all sort of clustered around in the house over there. Uh, one of the kids isn't feeling well, and neither is Clara, so um, uh, Yannick and Alexander are just sort of hanging out here, taking care of them uh, somewhat today, which is fine, that's not a problem. So uh, what I am going to do is uh, just pull forward with this, and we've got the, um, uh, what is it now, the um, the back for the Unitrack, the little um, uh, loading wagon section for it, is currently still down at the uh, uh, biogas plant. So uh, what we're going to do is take this all down on a trailer. If I can actually make sure I'm square on the trailer. Lovely, I think that's good. Yes, it is. Okay, hop out of that. Pop the ramps back up. I don't think it'll strap down, but we'll strap it just in case. Yeah, let's head off down to the uh, the biogas plant there. So I'm hoping we're going to get a nice bit of income back from that overnight tonight, and that should take care of the uh, the expenses today. Although to be fair, um, the uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, the lumber sales that we got, they took care of a lot of it too. And uh, like I said, we got some of those um, fertilising contracts to get on with once the, uh, the snow dissipates a little bit and the temperature comes up. But that shouldn't be shouldn't be too long. Now, uh, as you probably noticed, I am taking the main road because the last time I tried going up that uh, track over there. It all got a bit slippery, and not in a fun way. <laughs> so I'm going to err on the side of the caution since I am, I hope it's still back there, yes, towing the, uh, the Unitrack on the trailer there. Oh, and actually we do need petrol as well. But uh, it does give us a handy opportunity to uh, drive by this area that we've cleared out here. So we'll see that coming up on the left in just a second. Yep, just past this house we got... Uh, Got this whole section cleared out now on the left there. If I can slow down and get these trees out of the way, yeah, that's uh, that's all cleared out quite nicely now. And uh, we can see where the power lines are. And I've got a few ideas of sort of beautification and community things that we can put up in there. Uh, maybe some uh, fruit trees, uh, that sort of thing. 
so that should all be pretty good. And we'll get working on that uh, a little bit more once the uh, the snow clears, probably early spring I would say, uh, or at least once we get a chance to mow the grass, because we'll do that and then uh, and then put in you know, some fruit trees or some sort of uh, yeah, bottles. I didn't mean to only get half a tank. Now I'm gonna have to back out, and come back in again. Oops. <laughs> Come on, fill up. Did I not go out far enough? Oh, I didn't go out far enough, did I? Okay, fine. We'll back all the way out and try it again. <laughs> there we go. And if I'm a little bit of a cheeky one, let's refill the Unitrack while we're here as well. <laughs> Lovely. That didn't cost too much in the end, so that's good. And everybody's got petrol again, or diesel. And yeah, so uh, yeah, we shall head over to the biogas plant now. I shall see you there presently. And here we are. So, first order of the day, I think, is going to be to get these bales out of the way. Since we're in the tractor at the moment. So, let me spear a couple of these. If I can. There we go, got those two. And we've got, I want to say it was 20 bales here. Or, uh, there we've got 4, 8, 10. Oh yeah, we do have 20. So that's, uh, what, 20 times 4,000? Uh, 80,000 litres, roughly. If I can maths properly at this time of day. So that should uh, should bring us quite a nice amount of change. Let's, wait, let's see what the price of silage is at the moment. Oops. If I can avoid like flying into things, that would be handy. Uh, price of silage is 270 still. 270 per thousand, so it's just over a thousand per bale, which is not bad. Don't fall off. No, rude. <laughs> I, I meant to spear them just a tiny bit higher up so I could use the uh, the frame to uh, hopefully hold the other ones on. But alas, my luck was not that good. <laughs> so we should just get proper on this way. What I really probably should do is get an actual bale fork and not use a manure fork for this. Uh, the only reason I am doing it is because we can get... Uh, two bales on at a time, and uh, also it's uh, handy for opening the silage pit up as well, once we get the cover off that. And in fact, you know, I don't even know how much um, silage we have in that. We could uh, could have quite a nice amount. Right. Uh, of course, no. let me... Come on, get off. There we go. Yeah, you just can't see out of the front of this too well trying to do this in cab. I mean, I'm sure there's, uh, sure there's a method for doing it here with a tractor. It's just not the uh, the easiest amount of, uh, no, not the best um, visual clearance since we can't like stand up and lean forwards and, and look over the front of the nose. A little bit. There's one. I wonder why it takes that one but not the other one straight away. Yeah, that's all good. So, I shall continue on with this, and then we'll get, uh, once these are all done, we'll get the um, other thing open, get that silage pit open, and see where we stand. That was what I was trying to do before. Lovely. Don't fall off. <laughs> you just got to be firm with them, be assertive with your bales. <laughs> okay, that's one way to get them in, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. 
Okay, those bales are all on and or in the uh, digester. Uh, we did have... Uh, uh, we did reach the limit, I should say, so um, we're not uh, not going to be able to put much more of this silage in for now. But what we are going to do is go ahead and have a look, see how much we've got, open it up, and uh, let time pass, pretty much. So we have ooh, 79 or 76,000 liters. So almost exactly the same as what we've put in already. That's hang on, did it give me another option to open it? It did. Oh, I can open it from the back side too. That's handy. Uh, well, let's just get in with this and open the rest of it quick. Because I should just be able to sort of drop this down and... There we go. And then uh, do the same thing here. What the edge. There we go. Just empty that back out down there. And then what we'll do is uh, just back off that for now. We'll get the Unitrack loaded up and ready to uh, deposit its uh, contents over there. Uh, there's not much else we can do at the moment because it's uh, it's still a bit chilly. But uh, if the temperature does come up enough, we can uh, do those contracts today. We will. Um, like I said, I'll mostly be off camera stuff for now. Uh, oh, turn the engine off in that. We don't want to waste the fuel that we've just purchased. Yeah, yeah, let's get this little thing set up and ready to go. Very handy dandy little uh, multifunction vehicle, this. Connect everything up and drive over the ramp, of course. <laughs> yeah, let's get us some silage. I almost called it TMR for some reason, but it's not TMR. It's silage. Okay, just have to back it up a tiny bit. Get that. I'm not quite sure how there's 70,000 in here, but the information says it's there, so... I'm not going to argue with it. It's probably just an awful lot of it up this end. Yeah, yeah. Don't get stuck on the silage. Oh, balls. Have I gone and got myself lodged? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, that didn't help. If I can just get it off. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Oh, almost. Almost. Almost got some tracks. There we go. Lovely. Nice. Yeah, okay. Well, let's wander over here and see how the uh, the BGA is doing. I think it's probably still pretty chock full. Oh yeah, it's just cleared those bales off. Okay, so we shall have to hang around and wait for a little bit before we can deposit this load. So, we shall leave that there, and maybe pop off down the shop for a cup of coffee or something. Uh, I suppose we could take the tractor, but it's not far down the road, we'll just go for a nice walk. It is a nice day after all. Yeah, there the shop's just down there, you see them? Just past that garage there, so, yeah, we shall head on out and uh, get a cake and a coffee and come back in a bit and do some more of that. But uh, for now, yeah, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then please give us a like and uh, leave a comment if you would like. That would be greatly appreciated or welcomed or something. I'm not even sure what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> yes, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. And uh, comments are always welcome. And if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, I shall cross over the road and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Cheerio.